Here's the situation. You try to play music in your server. So, you search up Rhythm. And Rhythm is returning in 2024. And what are you trying to make a music bot for? So, what we're trying to do today is make a music bot that can search for, cue, and skip music. We're going to try and do that in 50 lines of code. So, the first thing we need to do is install some modules. So, we're going to install PyNACL, Pineacle, P Pinnacle, Discord, and YouTube DLP. And then we're going to wait for this to install. And then after that, we're going to create a new Python file. You can call it what you want. And we're going to import Discord from discord.ext, import commands, import YouTube DLP, and finally import asyncio. Now we're going to define our intents. So intents equals discord.intents.default, intents.messageContent equals true, intents.voiceState equals true. After that, we're going to define ffmpeg options. And we're going to put options VN and then YDL options format best audio and no playlist equals true. Then we're going to define our music bot. So class music bot commands.cog def init self and client self.client equals client self.q equals empty list at commands.command async def play self ctx star search and then voice channel equals ctx.author.channel if ctx.author.voice else none so if not voice channel return await ctx.send you're not in a voice channel so if there's no voice channel then send you're not in a voice channel and if not ctx voice client await voice channel dot connect async with ctx dot typing so this will make it look like the bot is typing whilst it's trying to get the information with youtube dlp dot youtube dl ydl options as ydl info equals ydl dot extract info and then f youtube search and then search in the curly brackets and download equals false. And then if entries in info, info equals info, square brackets entries, and then zero. URL equals info URL, title equals info title, self.q.append URL and title. Await ctx.send added to q, star star, curly brackets title. If not ctx.voiceclient.is playing, await self.play next ctx. And we're about to define this function. So async def play next, self ctx if self.q so if there's something in the queue then url title equals self.q.pop0 so then source equals await discord.ffmpeg opus audio from probe url and then star star ffmpeg options and then ctx.voiceclient.play source and after equals lambda underline colon self.client.loop.create task self.play next ctx so what this does is it plays the audio and await ctx.send now playing and then curly brackets title and then elif not ctx.voiceclient.is playing await ctx.send queue is empty and now we're going to want to define our skip command. So at commands.command, async def skip self ctx. If ctx.voiceclient and ctx.voiceclient.is playing, then ctx.voiceclient.stop. Await ctx.send skipped. So next we need to define our client. So client equals commands.bot, command prefix equals, and then you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to use an exclamation mark. And then intents equals intent, async def main. Await client.addcog and then music bot with the client in the brackets. And then await.start. And here we're going to put our token, but we haven't made our bot yet. So we're going to do that next. And then asyncio.run main. And now I'm going to show you how to make a bot. We're going to go to the Discord developers website. And in our applications, we're going to want to click new application. And I'm just going to call this example. But you can call it whatever you want. And in your bot, you're going to click bot. We're going to give our bot these intents. So presence intent, server member intent, and message content intent. Which basically allows our bot to access more information and do more things. On the installation tab, you're gonna click install link and then discord provided link. And we're going to add it as a bot. And for permissions, well, you can choose which permissions you wanna give it, but I'm gonna give it admin. And then you can copy this link and then open it in a new tab and add it to your server. After this, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the bot tab and click reset token. And you might need to enter your password. And then you're gonna copy this token and we're gonna go back to our script and just paste it in. And after that, you can run the script and you can go to your Discord server where you've added your bot and you can you know, use the command exclamation play. And then I'm going to put Nintendo music. OK, you're not in a voice channel. So I'm going to join this voice channel and then try again. And it looks like it's typing. 
Okay, adds cue. And there we go. Now it's playing music. And now let's 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 see if the cue works. So I'm gonna stop this and then play Neon Cat and also play Nintendo Music and add that to the cue. And then if we hit skip, okay, perfect. It works perfectly. Now, I know I said 50 lines, and right now it doesn't look like 50 lines, more like 60. But if we remove all the spaces, we have exactly 50 lines. Let's go, I'm amazing. What else can I say? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like, comment down below, and even consider subscribing. If not, I will see you next time.